future is a wave of a hand away. In case you missed it, here it is again. This is a whole new level of security. No keys or access cards, difficult to steal and copy, but the technology requires a certain level of commitment that's not for the faint-hearted. So this is where the microchip implant story begins, for those who want them at least. A clinical setting, a sterile environment, with some rather daunting bits of medical kit. So talk us through what happens next. So the first part of the procedure is local anaesthetic is applied, so just your hand there. Then we'll use a scalpel just to make a small incision, just there. And then finally, it's the rather large needle applicator, and that'll be pushed. I'll stop you there for me, in my case at least. I think everyone really wants to know is, does it really hurt? Completely pain-free. The UK firm Biotech offers implants to businesses and individuals. It's fitted 150 implants in the UK so far, and the numbers are rising. Assistive technology from disabled people, implant, um, banking, security, uh, general users, so contactless payments, passport data, all can be stored on these microchips and embedded in your hand. It comes down to convenience, I suppose, for a lot of people. It's very hard to lose your hand. Uh, it's easy to lose your keys, your wallet. So a lot of certain demographics want that convenience. This is one of several implant firms reportedly in discussions with British financial and legal companies. The names of the companies are being closely guarded. This isn't new technology. Microchips have been implanted in pets for many years, but the prospect of implanting them in employees has sparked concerns from trade unions. A microchip gives even more uh, control and power uh, to the employer, um, and that, that comes with inherent risks and dangers. Uh, those risks and dangers uh, shouldn't just be ignored by an employer. Uh, they need to take those into consideration, and they definitely shouldn't be uh, pressuring any workers uh, into uh, the microchips. Biotech companies say the technology should be voluntary and that people must have a right to privacy. But with one Swedish firm, Biohacks, claiming to have already implanted 4,000 people, there were worries microchipping could eventually become the new normal. Societies embrace the mobile phone, making us easy to track on a daily basis. But by implanting microchips, there may be few places left to truly escape from technology. Eve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.